maybe that guard's wandered off because he saw me. I have to go that way. Let's have a save. And run! It's me. Oh, there's a... There's a conversation somewhere mentioning me. I'm Garrett. You ain't the only merchant in town too uppity to get his own hands a bit dirty. Oh, of course. The object in question is of little monetary value, but has great sentimental meaning to me. It's the Orin Cross Dagger. You've probably heard of it. A stylish golden number, and it's currently out of its owner's hands, being scheduled for repairs at Cosmo's Armory. Uh, the Orin, uh, a golden dagger, eh? Sure, I heard of it. <laughs> Garrett, ain't I? Except it sounds plenty valuable to me. Well, it's not. The money I'll pay you to get it will be twice what it's worth. Anyway, it's one of a kind. You'd be hard-pressed to find a fence who'd manage it for you. All right, all right. Go on. As I said, it's being kept at Coffrin's Armory, in the basement safe. That's where you come in, Garrett. Yeah. As a master thief, you should have no trouble with it. Once you get it, put it in the donations box outside that Hammerite place, St. Edgar's. I'll leave the payment in the same box, once I have the dagger. I think that about covers it. All right, Mr. Brent. And don't forget, if you want Garrett-type services, you gotta offer Garrett-type prices. So that's the famous Garrett, huh? I guess he's not as good-looking as I heard. <laughs> Imposter! But we have a note. No, we have a note. That one. Thug has been hired to steal a valuable dagger from Cothran's armory tonight. He will be paid if he drops it in the donation box outside St. Edgar's. Well, that looks like a job for me. Where is see I don't I don't know where that is. <laughs> uh so that's gonna be a problem. Maybe there'll be like a, a sign outside it or something, I don't know, but uh Well I better not Oh god. Did I see something there? No, you didn't see anyone. <sighs> this stuff just looks different at night. Man He's going back. That's weird. Yeah, any last words? <laughs> That's a laugh. Yeah, he had one last taffing word. Kind of a message. It was no. Oh, oh. I'm coming to think of it. <laughs> That's sort of two words, ain't it? Way too many people wandering around up here. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And I wanted to see what's in in this chest. I'm gonna fail at this now, aren't I? If it was something, I'll say it again. No, I'm going now. I am so leaving. Yeah, I'm going. No! Oh, go away, Garrett! Let's close that. I don't know where the armory is. I don't know where it is. Man, it's so light around here. I can just jump out that window, though, hopefully. Or, wow, it does, he'll have no reason to attack me, will he? Right. Okay, the, the sh wanted for theft and assault. I don't, know, I don't know who that is. Is this the plaza? Or wherever I'm supposed to go? Footsteps, footsteps.
I guess it is. I don't like being followed. Cryptic notes, secret meetings. Haven't you keepers outgrown this stuff yet? It was not our intention to be cryptic. What was your intention? Don't I have friends on the Keeper Council anymore? More than you know. Garrett, may I speak? Sure. Talk. The Keeper Council has agreed to allow you access to the prophecies as they are read by our interpreter, Keeper Kataka. Well, that's Keeper talk for something bad has happened and now we want your help. <laughs> right. But there is something they require of you first. Go on. Two objects, one with the Hammerites, the other with the Pagans. They are unusual. We wish to study them further. We need you to acquire them for us. You mean steal them? Are you sure these are the only hoops your Keeper friends need me to jump through before I'm allowed to hear the prophecies? It's true that through this you will have proven that you are trustworthy. None of this is... My choice. I'll get you the trinkets. You just make sure your keeper buddies come through on their end of the bargain. I will. Garrett? Garrett? He's gone. Except he's not, because I'm right here and I haven't moved. Garrett, these are the objects that you must acquire. The chalice, the relic of the Hammerites, is kept in St. Edgar's Church in the Stone Market proper. The Jacknall's Paw, possession of the Pagans. They have constructed secret tunnels beneath the South Qu South Quarter Well. The Lubel of Paw to be there somewhere. Meet back at this courtyard in two nights. I have faith in your abilities. There is no day and night cycle in this game. It's always going to be night. Hello. The game paces like um, according to how sort of the, uh, the the missions that you accomplish. So I've got two missions, that's two nights work. It doesn't matter how long I wander around here for. It doesn't matter. It's always going to be two nights. And that was twitching in that uh, cutscene. I'm sure it was. Oh, there's a bug thing! Not much else. I don't like those. We don't like them at all. Probably my own echo. Echo. Probably echo. echo. <laughs> <laughs> the guards in this game are awesome. Some of the things they come out with are very, uh, very amusing. I don't know what I'm doing now. What I would like to do is find that armor. Um. But I have no idea where the armor is. See, Cothran's armory. But where is Cothran's armory? Not on that map. And it's not on that map. It's got to be on Storm Market because Storm Market's where is where all the shops are. So I guess I just wander around here and uh, look for it, pretty much. Yeah. There's a guard. I knew it. There it is again. What? Maybe we should go to the tavern and get drunk. Seems like a good idea to me. Run! There's no, um. Oh, that's not even. There's no signs above anything, you know. Well, you could see that's a tavern. That's not even a place you can get into. Um. Should I try and uh, get into the tavern, maybe? It's it seems to be locked, so well. Don't mind me. Hello, how are you doing? You alright? 
Not very friendly, but he didn't try and kill me, so that's a plus. 